The Great Wall is not the only film that's been accused of whitewashing its cast. In fact, critics are claiming that the producers of a new biopic about one of the most influential martial artists of all time have done exactly the same thing. CCTV's May Lee has more on that story. Bruce Lee is arguably the most famous martial arts star in modern history. Amazing for a man who only lived to be 32 years old. A newly released biopic highlights Lee's early years, including his controversial fight with Master Wong Jack Man. The film is aptly entitled Birth of the Dragon. Technique is a but the movie is being met with heavy criticism. The producers accused of whitewashing and sidelining Bruce Lee in his own biographical story and giving the film's starring role to a white fictional character. Fans are lashing out. Entertainment data site IMDB is riddled with harsh comments. Is this a joke? I'm here to see Bruce Lee, but they put the focus on some white guy. Enough is enough. We Asians are already sick of the whole whitewashing thing. Why not cast Justin Timberlake as Bruce Lee? This movie is an absolute travesty. Variety's senior film reporter Jim Rainey is a bit surprised by the backlash, given the efforts made by the filmmakers to get it right. They spent quite a bit of time in China. They talked to martial arts experts. They had the real Wong Jack Man, the other protagonist of the film, on set for at least part of the filming of the film. Birth of the Dragon producer Michael London tried to defend the biopic at a recent film festival and perhaps unintentionally revealed the disturbing reality of Hollywood decision making. In a statement, he said, it was made primarily to allow distributors to see the film as a marketable proposition. London went on to say that during the making of the film, he was actually more concerned about making a Hollywood movie that had only one white character. For martial artists and longtime Bruce Lee fans, young Esteban Kwong and his wife Victoria, they choose to ignore all the noise about the film and instead focus on Lee's legacy of breaking down barriers and bridging cultures. That's, I think, one of the things that Bruce Lee was trying to do by opening doors, you know, not just keeping these, these secrets. I really admire him. I think that is this kind of people that works on earth for a period of time and really changes things and inspires people to be themselves. And with legions of fans around the world, the inspirational legacy of Bruce Lee will undoubtedly survive this latest controversy and firmly remain as a memorable part of both Chinese and American history. May Lee, CCTV, Los Angeles.